Welcome back to our second hit out on the dyno with our stock Ford 73 Godzilla supercharger testing. So quick recap on our first video that's linked below. We ran the engine, it's completely stock. The supercharger ran the GT350 throttle body on petrol, gasoline as they stay in the States. And the numbers were impressive. NA, what was it, 550? It was 550, yeah, a round number. And then we ended up just on 800. With... It was like 803, just on, uh, on unleaded with your supercharger. The next logical step, and what today has been about, is E85, more boost, and numbers look good. Yeah, I mean, let's think about it. The camshaft is like bone stock out of the Ford factory. The ports are unported. So it was just trying to find the fuel trim that we needed to continue making power. And we're still running a 6PK drive system. We know that's going to be a limitation. It's okay for the dyno, but once we get to the track, it's going to need more belt. The intercooler performed extremely well today. Yeah. Like we've got the core that's actually inside the manifold here to display. And by comparison, there's a little LSA core that the GM 6.2s actually get. So we know we're getting great thermal efficiency and heat rejection with the, uh, with the intercooler core. So we carried over the 87 millimeter throttle from the initial testing, and those numbers were pretty bloody impressive. I, I didn't think we were gonna see the power increase that we saw just on E85 and the 87 mil, but we saw up to like 944 horsepower. It's very similar foot pounds of torque. 940 which foot pounds. At 3,800 RPM. It's that's massive. That's insane, yeah. Now, you did actually measure the vacuum behind the blade, so we wanted to see what a larger throttle plate would Correct. achieve. So we, we've put the 102 on, and then we've picked up what? Another 40 horsepower. And that was 980 horsepower, 980 foot-pounds. Foot foot-pounds, and it's still around the 38, 4,000 RPM range. So we're nudging up towards that four digit torque and power, but some context, what does the Falcon run with that sort of performance? We spoke about what it's like at 800 horsepower in the first video. At this power level, where would you see the Falcon? Oh, I reckon it would go 890s at like 150 miles an hour. Yeah, that's impressive. I think we should try and do that. I think we should. <laughs> <laughs> It's definitely an exciting program. We've got great partners in Dandy Engines and Fuel Tech. Like and subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for the next instalment.